This video is for removing a hard drive from an iMac 70 inch pre eyesight G5. You're going to need a new hard drive, software, Phillips screwdriver, and hex driver. First step you want to take is to remove the plug from the outlet wall. Then go to the back of the computer and remove the plug from there as well. If you have any software, uh, hardware plugged into the back of the computer, such as a keyboard or a mouse, you want to remove that. If you have electrical safety strap, that is also good to use while removing the electronics. Lay your computer flat down on a flat surface and not on a carpet. Uh, you can create static electricity this way. You want to remove, you want to loosen the three screws on the bottom of the iMac. There are three, they do not come out. They are just loosened and you'll fill them when they come to a stopping point. Do not try to turn them any further than where they are once they come to that stop. As soon as you've gotten all the screws loose, you want to lift it back up towards the front and set the uh, back cover aside. This is what the inside of the iMac looks like. You're going to want to loosen the screws on this cover that goes over the fan. Take these screws out and remove that cover. The next step will be to remove the three screws, one there, one there, and then the third over to the left to remove your old hard drive that you're taking out. And you'll do that. And once you've got it out, you're also going to want to remove three connectors, this one here, and then two over here on the left. These connectors will need to be disconnected to take the hard drive out. Once they're all disconnected, as they are here, lift your old hard drive out and make sure to keep the rubber gaskets. Uh, check them out. They're um, support for your hard drive. Make sure they're in good condition. Set the old hard drive aside. Get out your new hard drive. Make sure that it is sealed. This should actually be checked before you uh, do this. You'll need to remove these four hex screws on the sides of the case that the old hard drive is resting in. Once you've got the screws out, take the cover off. Set the old hard drive aside. Get your new hard drive, place it gently inside the case. You'll then take the uh, old hard drive, new hard drive, and look at the connectors, uh, jumpers, and make sure they match. Then place your new hard drive into the computer and make sure to tighten down all three of the screws that you removed earlier and uh, set them gently and also make sure that the rubber supports and the screw holes are uh, still there and in good condition. Then you'll want to attach the cover that you removed earlier from the fans and uh, return those screws back into uh, the cover ensuring that they are tight and uh, trying not to strip the screws. Now that you have the hard drive in and that cover back on, you want to return the back cover, placing the top in first, seating it um, into the, uh, uh, and then the uh, bottom, you'll want to get it seated properly. Again, tighten the three screws that you had loosened earlier. Make sure they're snug, make sure that all the um, back is seated properly. Then you're going to go back and return the plug to the back of your iMac. Once you've got that in, you want to then take and reconnect your hardware, whether you had a keyboard or mouse or any other item plugged into the back. You may want to wait on things besides the keyboard and the mouse. Then once you've got those done, you want to plug the unit back into the wall. And then it's time to power your iMac on. And once it powers up, you want to take your disc one or disc one of two and insert it into the iMac. It's not going to read the iMac, the, the disc at this point. You're going to wait, want to wait and watch the computer 
acknowledge that the disc is in there by uh, spinning and you're going to turn the unit back off and then you're going to want to reboot the unit by holding down the C key and then turning the unit back on while holding the C key. And this will boot the iMac up to the installation disk and at this point you'll then need to um, decide whether you have uh, saved information uh, directly if you've saved all your old hard drive information and you're just going to do a transfer or are you actually going to reload software and follow the steps to format your disk.